something good? That's a good question. How did we know how many moles of electrons given the moles of gold? Well, what are we asking gold to do? What are we asking to happen here? We're taking what kind of gold? A plus three ions? And we're going to do that. So that means we must be getting those three electrons. So that's what we have to do. Three moles of electrons necessary for every one of these stages. Plus three. Where do we get that from? Uh, this half reaction. We knew it was gold plus three because they said it was AuCl3. And we knew that we wanted to get metallic gold. So three electrons. Yeah? That's how we can identify the charge on the chloride ion helps us identify the charge on the gold. AU, yeah, with a positive free charge. How do we know it had a positive free charge? Because there's three chloride ions. Yeah. So is chloride AU positive AU plus three chloride ions? If the chloride ions go to the same Well, if it had done like this, AU. Oh, like that, AU203, would that tell us the number of electrons? Or let's do this, AU2, does that mean two electrons? No, because gold has a AU2, because gold, our oxygen has a minus two charge, right? So that'd be four electrons. It's not always that way, but you can tell by knowing the charge on this what the oxidation number for the goal is. Okay, so are we focusing on the second one now? Ready to do the second one? Did anybody get a value? First one was the value. 22.1 amps. Okay, good. Next one. How much time in seconds does it take to plate 10.2 grams of silver using 0.1 milliamp power source? Equal sign. Something goes to the left of the equal, or right of the equal sign. Draw a line, start with something top left. Work your way there. And this is the new part. That there's the relationship between coulombs of charge and mole. Silver-plated silverware, right? Silver-plated silverware. Okay, so then, what goes to the right of the equal sign? Seconds. We can start with our 10.2 grams, right? Of silver. All right, and then what? What are we going to go to? Yeah, if we go to moles, why would we go to moles? Moles is cool. We can go moles of silver to moles of electrons, right? Because not the U. A G 
plus is going to be taking one electron to go to a G. So there's one mole, no, yeah, one mole. What is this? 97? 107. 107. Point. Six. Oh, nine. Moles of the of silver to moles of electrons. All right, now what? One mole of electrons, 96,500 coulombs. Is that right? Yeah. Now, how can I get rid of that coulomb? Divided by 60, that's minutes. Divided by 60, that's hours. Divided by 24, that's days. Divided by 365, that's years. That's years. How many? 2.9 years. Hmm? Okay, wonderful job, gentle people. We have two more class periods, Friday and Monday. Then we have the final. Does anybody remember the final day for this class? Yes, Wednesday. Wednesday in the okay. afternoon. So the bottom of the silver is there. Anyways, we'll remind ourselves when we get closer. Okay, see you guys.